So in a couple of days, I have to do a highlight and an updo demo. So then I was at Starbucks, you know, typing on my little computer, looking up different um, types of hair color and also types of updos. And then it just got me inspired to make a video about an easy updo that you could try for yourself at home. This is super easy. It is great if you have dirty hair. Today my hair is like second day hair, so it's not super clean, but it's not super dirty. Since my hair is kind of fresh, so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> I do have an exciting product that I've been wanting to share with you guys. Um, something that I used in my hair today. And no, it wasn't sent to me, and no, it's not sponsored or anything like that, but I'm just so in love with it. And, you know, finishing this video, I kind of realized that I need a little bit of a bang trim. My bangs are looking a little fried, a little obnoxiously long, so I need to trim those. I'm probably going to do it tonight, but, um, yeah, you'll, you'll get the general idea of the hairstyle. Also, while I was recording, I kind of noticed that the back of my tag was out, so ignore that for, like, the first three quarters of the tutorial. You guys wanted to see more hair tutorials, so I'm trying to do more hair tutorials. So if you guys have any special requests for hair tutorials, then leave it in a comment down below, or just any requests just in general. Leave it in a comment down below. So I'm going to stop talking so that way I can now turn on my fan because it's literally like 200 degrees right now under these lights. Girl, it is hot! Okay, so if you want to know how to get this easy updo, then go ahead and keep watching. This is my hair from the last tutorial that I did, which if you haven't seen it, then go watch after this one, of course. So I'm getting my blow dryer and I'm gonna just blow out my bangs just to get that, um, to kind of loosen them up off of the scalp if that makes any sense at all um, and change the way that they're going. So I want them to come a little bit more forward around my face, uh, my entire fringe area. And uh, yeah, I just kind of want to get these pieces going forward so that way they could frame my face. Here I've just blown my bangs and then I rolled them up into my brush to kind of set them. Now I'm letting that go and I'm going to get a Velcro roller and I love these rollers. I actually got them, I got a whole pack of them at Daiso for like $1.50. So I'm just rolling that forward just to get that height and that volume going for later and I'm just going to pin it with the clip that it came with and I'm going to do the same for the sides of my hair, of my hairline. those are setting, I'm going to work with the crown area of my hair. I'm going to pin that up quickly and then pin the rest of my hair back. And now I'm taking that piece there and I'm just going to tease my hair. Just take sections and spray it with my next day hairspray that I'm loving so much right now. And then I'm just going to tease my hair. Now typically I don't like to tease my hair. It actually makes me cringe a little bit watching this um, because it's so rough on the hair depending on the type of hair that you have but I did just want to show you a way to get volume in my day-to-day -day life I typically do not tease my hair and I don't really need to because my hair is so thick and coarse um, because I'm black <laughs> and so I don't need to tease my hair but I did, I did just want to do this for the video to show you guys how to make that bump even bigger if you have the type of hair that's super fine or limp. Going back to my favorite product currently, this is Next Day Hairspray by L'Oreal. I describe this product as a hybrid between a dry shampoo and a working spray. It just provides that tackiness to your hair that you need for updos, especially if your hair is clean. Um, and then if your hair is dirty, like I said, you can use it as a dry shampoo just as your root to absorb um, any oil that you don't want, but it gives you a nice texture. Okay, so catching up, I am getting that hair that I did not tease, that I left towards the top of that whole tease section, and I'm just covering all the tease and I'm smoothing everything out before I twist it in the back of my head and pin it. So 
after that is secure, I'm gonna release the rest of my hair in the back and we're gonna start working with that. So I'm just gonna remove the rollers that I had placed at the sides of my hair. And I'm gonna use my Brazilian blowout molding paste to just kind of give that some tackiness to it and smooth it on out. Brush it forward, brush it backward. And I do kind of have an awkward hairline, which you guys have pointed out many times before. So I do like to wear my fringe so that way I could cover the little imperfections. So <laughs> I'm getting all of my hair like that, putting it to the side. I'm just gonna get a couple of bobby pins and secure them right into the center of my hair. And that's just gonna uh, help secure the entire French roll that we're gonna have going on. Here I'm grabbing the ends of my hair and I'm just going to wrap it into a roll. Um, and this is going to provide even more volume in the back of your hair when it's all rolled up. That, um, that rolled hair, that those ends underneath provide a lot of volume and almost serve as, you know, like a tease or something like that, which is an alternative to the top of your hair if you do not want to tease your hair. Here I'm just securing any loose ends that may be hanging out or sticking out and this is kind of a scenario um, that applies to when I say you kind of have to be at one with your hair. Meaning if you're doing your own hair you kind of have to learn to see with your hands if that makes sense and just feel the hair and be very familiar with it because you don't have eyes on the back of your head. This is when I realized that my tag was out. Now it's time to cover that kitchen girl. Um, if you have if you have one like mine, then you know what I mean. And I always say, you know what? Just pull those hairs out. If they don't want to stay up and it, if it looks better with some little hairs in the back, then just let them out. Stop trying to make your hair be something that it's not. After I've pulled that last Velcro roller out, I'm just gonna get my brush and blow out the sides of my bangs just to reinforce that face frame. I wanted to give an honorable mention to my favorite brand of boar bristle brushes and this is the 3ME brush and this one in particular is the 2202 but it does come in different sizes. But these are my favorite boar bristle brushes, super excellent quality. Um, but the thing is you can only order them in bulk from Italy. So for you pros out there, if you work at a salon and if you could order these brushes, I definitely suggest them. They also come with a pick at the end of the brush. So that way, if you're doing a blowout, um, you could part the hair. <laughs> I'm just bumping my bangs a little bit and perfecting them to my liking and I'm getting my Redken Control Addict hairspray which I love so much it's really really strong uh, and I'm just smoothing my hair spraying a little bit of that on a nylon brush and I'm just smoothing any little flyaways that may be sticking out anywhere This look is done let me know what you think in a comment down below but first before you do that let me take a selfie <laughs> love you thank you for watching bye